so let's look at lecture 2d 2 is the lesson number angles and measurements d is the lecture number of that lesson that is fourth so instead of fourth i am taking alphabet okay so let's look at example eight find the angle between hour hand and minute hand of the clock at quarter past five now very interesting question this question is going to come in most of your competitive exams throughout your life now what happens at five o'clock suppose this is 12 1 2 3 4 6 so what happens at 5 o'clock this is 5 o'clock now 1 hour is divided into 12 parts of 5 minutes ok so 1 hour is 360 degrees which is 60 minutes okay so 5 minutes is how many degrees so question mark is 5 into 360 upon 60 66 which is 30 degrees so now this particular 5 minutes this 5 minutes corresponds to 30 degrees so there are how many five minutes one two three four five so there are five into thirty this angle is 150 degrees at five o'clock okay now at quarter past five what happens at quarter past five this minute hand the longer hand will come over here so how many five minutes are there so the angle will be 60 degrees but there is a problem the problem is that in one hour in one hour the hour hand rotates through thirty degrees only why when it will be 5 o'clock, our hand will be over here, say position A. And when it will be 6 o'clock, our hand will be over here, position B, suppose. So it is rotating only through 30 degrees. Our hand is rotating only through 30 degrees in 1 hour. Okay. So the problem over here is that the answer is not 60. Why answer is not 60? Because in 15 minutes, that is one fourth of an hour, this our hand will not stay at A, it will shift to some other position P. Because our hand also has to move towards 6. So, in 60 minutes, if our hand rotates through 30 degree, then in 15 minutes, it will rotate through how much? So, question mark is 15 into 30 upon 60. 15 fours are. 4, 7 and a half za. So, 7 and a half. 7 and a half plus 60. So, the answer is 67.5 degrees. Okay. Next, quarter to 12. Quarter to 12. One minute. So suppose 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 11. This is the clock, for example. This is center. Hmm? So at 11 o'clock, The time is like this. Okay. 
by now when when it is quarter to 12 this our minute hand sorry minute hand will be over here but the angle between them will be say 60 degree okay but the R hand will move the distance of 45 minutes. For example, in 60 minutes, the R hand, 60 minutes, the R hand moves 30 degrees. Okay. Every 60 minutes, the R hand moves 30 degrees. So in 45 minutes, it will move to how much degrees? So question mark will be 45 into 30 upon 60. 32 za to 22.5 za. So our hand, suppose original position at 11 o'clock was B. At quarter to 12, it would have moved towards 12. So this angle is 22.5 degrees. So what is the angle between the hour hand and minute hand at quarter to 12? It is 60 plus 22.5. Answer is 82.5 degrees. Okay. Fine. Now let's look at exercise 1.1 and we will do all the questions which are different. We will not do the repeated questions and waste our time. Determine which of the following angles are coterminal. Okay. Fine. So we'll start with the first question. Question number one A. Determine which of the angles are following pairs of angles are coterminal. Okay. Now 210 and minus 150. Okay. So let's look at angle 210. Let's try to draw the diagram. Okay. So this is plus 210. Okay. So this is 90, this is 180, so 210 will be like this. Co-terminal angles are angles with the same set of initial and final arms and minus 150. Now if this is 210, this angle has to be 150 but since it is measured in the clockwise direction, it is minus, therefore these are co-terminal angles. Okay, then let's look at the second one 360 and minus 30. 360 angle will be like this angle A, O, B, and minus 30. So both the arms are on the same line in the same direction, and minus 30 will be like this say OC. So these two are not co-terminal angles minus 180 and 540 okay now let's see this let's draw 540 first 540 this one is 360 okay one rotation is 360 and plus 180 so the 540 angle has to be like this, say angle A, O, B and minus 180 will be like this. So both the angles have the same initial and final arm. So these are coterminal angles. Okay. Then 675 and 405. 675. I start with OA and I move 360 degrees. And what is 675 minus 360? Let's see. 5, 7 minus 6, 1, 6 minus 315. So then I again move 315 degrees. This is 270. 270 plus 45. Okay, so this somewhere over here 
is your angle 675 degrees now let's look at minus 405 okay minus 405 so one rotation will be 360 okay and now I have to move further 45 degrees so somewhere over here I should have 45 degrees because minus 405 will be 360 plus 45 in the clockwise direction so when you look at 675 we are looking at 315 degree as the second part of after doing 360 so this 315 ends over here which is 270 plus 45 so this angle is 45 therefore this angle is 45 therefore this arm and this arm are same therefore these two are coterminal okay now let's look at a shortcut for finding whether the angles are coterminal okay 860 and 580 fine so what we should do is we can directly subtract whichever angles are given to us 860 minus 580 0 16 minus 8 8 7 minus 5 2 280 okay now whatever subtraction you get if that is not a multiple of 360 not a multiple of 360 then this angle is not a multiple of 360 then these two are not coterminal angles so this is not coterminal now let's look at sixth one and apply the same concept 900 minus you write the second angle as it is minus 900 so you get the answer as 1800 and 1800 is 180 into 10 and 180 into 10 180 is 36 into 5 into 10 so this is 360 into 5 5 into 360 so which is a multiple of 360 therefore these two are coterminal angles okay now since we have done this question with diagram also you can do question number b on your own i will just do one question two questions out of this first is 1120 and second is minus 820 when we have to draw what is the question draw the angles of the following measures and determine the quadrants determine their quadrants in which quadrant they will lie 1120 let's start with 1120 okay now 360 into 3 36 3 is 18 3 3 is 9 1080 and 1120 minus 1080 is 0 12 minus 8 4 40 so basically every 360 is 0 degrees this 360 is 0 another 360 is 0 another 360 is 0 so this is 1080 plus 40 initial arm final arm which quadrant it is lying in first quadrant minus 820 minus 820 is just a notation to show that the angle is measured in the clockwise direction so now for minus 820 out of 820 we have 720 as a multiple of 360 so 820 minus 720 is 100 so when i want to plot minus 820 i will do one rotation 360 second rotation 720 and then i have to go 100 so i will go like this and this will be my angle this is the initial arm oa and this is the final arm ob which quadrant it is lying in third quadrant but we don't write third quadrant like this we write third quadrant like this okay fine so we'll stop here and we'll continue in the next lecture